Andrew and Libin are together and talking about how her mother is taking her to a counseling session tomorrow. Do you really want to go to the stupid counseling thing? It's not like I have a choice. Your mom's so uptight. She's making this such a big deal. I guess. Like, what the hell is her problem? It's like she's from a different planet. The culture is kind of different back home. How different can it be? Pretty different. Whatever. Sounds like you agree with her or something. I didn't say that. Can we, can we not talk about this? Why not? Because. I just... I don't want to, okay? You don't understand. I feel like I can't really explain myself to you. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, okay? I just said I don't want to talk about it. Fine. Whatever. Call me when you and your mom stop acting like that. Excuse me? Manera and Libin both arrive at the social worker's office. The social worker has reviewed their files ahead of time and has found that there has been a lot of studies on the stress of newcomer families. The generational differences and priorities are a stress, particularly on the youth. Hi, how can I help you today? Uh, we booked an appointment to see Mary today for 11 o'clock. Okay, um, she will be right out. Just have a seat here. Okay, thank you. Thank you both for coming to the session today. Um, may I ask how your travel meal was? No, it was okay. Okay, how about you? It's fine. Okay, thank you. Um, before we get the session started, I'd like to start with the confidentiality agreement. Um, so most things that we talk about in the Zoom will be confidential, but other than that, if you choose to harm yourself, mm -hmm. others, children the age of 16 under, and elderly, then I would have to report it to the authorities. Um, alongside that, my colleagues within the facilities will have access to the file, um, but only by consent. And additionally, if the court requires a file, then I would have to hand it over by law. Um, now that that is covered, may I ask if you understand? I have nothing. Or so have you questions? Down. No, no, no questions at all. No. So okay. talk slowly. Okay. Quick, quick. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. I, I understand. Okay. Um. Thank you. Now, now that that's a part, may I ask what brings you to the session today? Okay. So we immigrant family, mm -hmm. and we come here, and it's very difficult for me language. We have language barrier, and this one, oh. headache. Look what she's wearing. Look what she's wearing. Okay. Dress like devil. Okay. Look, 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 look. That's the crazy. Oh. Yeah, just like the devil. She never answers the phone mm -hmm. when I call. Mm -hmm. She never comes home very, 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 very late. Okay. It's this headache. Okay. Um. From what I can understand, I believe that the clothing might be a little different from when you moved here. It, is it a, it's a bit of a change? Is yes, that, weird. Okay. Um, also, you kind of mentioned the language barrier. Mm -hmm. um, how are you coping with the language barrier? Are you doing anything for yourself? For that? I watch TV and mm -hmm. work. Okay. Also helps. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, like, when you talk quickly, I don't really understand. Okay. okay. But like, I can try to slow it down for you as okay. well. Um, also, we do have resources for free classes for language. Since you are new to Canada, mm -hmm. we have a variety of resources that we can provide for you to kind of help you integrate into Canada's um, society, of course. Um, how do you feel about language classes? How good. Yeah, okay. I will prepare that research for you. Um, but on the other side, may I ask how you feel about the situation of um, coming to Canada She's and how you're adjusting? My, I'm, doing, my, huh, I'm doing everything that I can to fit in with everyone else because I'm the one that has to go to high school. You don't know how mean kids can be. Okay. Can but I come could. from Somalia. We come from war. I was there. Okay. Uh, may I ask you, uh, how is the environment at school? Like, what, what are the certain... I just try to keep my head down. I just try to. I just try to do what all the other kids are doing. 
like just hanging out with them, you know, going out with them, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like regular teenage stuff. And she thinks that it's so crazy. Never. We're not in three, Somalia. Three, it's 2020. Three o'clock. three o'clock morning. Um, do, do you mind if I ask, is changing the way you dress helping you adjust to yeah. the school environment? Yeah. Like, okay. they won't look at me weird. They won't stare at me the same if I'm wearing garbasar, dirah, bati. That's culture clothes. Okay, the culture clothes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, clothes. If I may make a Mashallah. suggestion, is there a way... Is there maybe a way that you could integrate your cultural clothes with the clothes that we have here and kind of make it work so you can represent your culture and maybe educate the other youth about your cultural heritage? Because sometimes they might be interested and it might help you get um, more friends. I don't know if I have a confidence for that. Okay. Um, May I make a different suggestion then, if that works for you? Um, Sometimes schools have community groups that they have after school or at lunchtime. And I believe that it might help it, uh, integrate you into school. Is that something that you might be open to? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Like community groups within like peer groups and stuff? Yeah, of with course. With other students? Yeah, and maybe you can make some new friends if you're open to it, yeah? Yeah, because I don't really have the chance to talk to other people in the halls or like during class or whatever. Mm-hmm. And after school, I'm usually out with my friends, so. Okay. Um, I guess this might be a great opportunity for you to make some new friends as well. Um, just to summarize the session, um, the resources that I will be providing today and the goals that we have set are basically helping you find language schools or li- language classes that you could take within your free time or maybe some apps that you use on your phone uh, to help you kind of integrate and understand a bit more. And then for you, if it's okay, I could kind of connect with your school about pulling resources for peer groups and finding other supports. Um, was there any questions or any additional topics that you want to discuss coming, in this session? Coming home late. This one. Okay. Never answer phone. Mm-hmm. Come three o'clock. Sixteen years old. Three o'clock. Oh. Never in my life. Never in my life did okay. I ever come home sick. Do you think it's o'clock. because you're in Somalia? Ma, I mean, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Talking what? back to me. Okay. Ne- disrespect. Ch- Okay, so from from this uh, situation here, may I ask about the communication? Would it be too much to ask for if you just um, maybe text your mom or maybe just connect with her a little bit more so she could feel that you're safe, especially you guys being in a new environment? She might be very fearful for your security. So I try to text her, but it's not like she knows how to use a phone. Okay. I don't. I'm old. I, I don't. Oh. Technology is... She can't call me saying, okay, I'm I going, can't always I'm call fine. you. That's not what I'm when used to. When are you doing 3 o'clock morning if you can't call? Let's see. So, uh, from what I'm understanding as well, you might need some supports with your phone to how to communicate a little bit better. It would be easier to text her. A lot easier instead of calling. Okay. It's the text messages that might... Did you know that there's actually a way that we could um, make your text messages in your own language so it's a little bit easier for her to communicate? Or like an automatic translator? Yeah. There's, she there's could use one of that. those. Yeah? Okay. It sounds English like... Car. Telephone car. So my way. Okay. okay. Thank you both for cooperating during this session. I but will wait. provide... But wait. <laughs> I will provide the right resources. What? But... Did you have one more thing to ask? She, why, why does she, wh- even if I do text, why does she want me, to, I want to hear her voice. I want to make sure anyone can text her phone. So why would I want to call her? She wants to text, 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 text. Okay. Um, from, from my observation, most youth uh, in uh, Canada, they're kind of really used to the texting. It's, it's like a new, new hip thing. It's kind of with their generation. Uh, do you find it easier to text her during the day? A lot easier, but if it means that much to you, then I can pick up a three call. Three o'clock? Mm-hmm. Can't call? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, if it's okay, I would just like to advise you both to kind of keep that communication for your safety and for like both of you to feel kind of comfortable. Okay. Okay, so now to kind of wrap up the session, I'm going to summarize the topics that we spoke about. Spoke about um, language, um, understanding the Canadian culture. For her? Uh, for both of you. 
And then for you as well, kind of maybe getting connected with peer groups and making mm-hmm. some new friends. That sounds like a good idea. Um, and integrating your own culture into the Canadian clothing and kind of educating others on where you come from. So mm-hmm. it might, they might be interested as well. And then maybe you both could kind of work on showing her how to use the app so she could communicate with you a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Thank you both for your cooperation, and hopefully I can see you both again uh, next Friday if you'd like to do a follow-up. And then for now, I will connect you with those resources. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming to the session today. Okay. Um, scene five, take six. Take six. Wait. <laughs> hold on. This girl's trying to kill me. <laughs> Alright, so hold on. <laughs>